Okay, this is a brand new Steel 170 MS. Okay, I used it. I had a brand new chain on it. It's brand new. I used it uh, just for a few minutes with, when I had the brand new bar on it. So what I did is I bought this gouger off of Amazon. It was 100 and, about $180, okay? You can see these teeth here. So these gouge out wood. And I'm going to be gouging out this. This is a big piece of... Uh, willow big piece of willow and i'm going to be gouging this out so i'm going to this fits on this saw okay it comes with all the parts here's the sprocket got to change the sprocket here's a new sprocket for the belt there's all the saws that it will take Take a screenshot, this is a steel. And it's also got a sprocket for the Husqvarna. You want to take a screenshot of that too. So Husqvarna, these are the saws that it will fit. Husqvarna and the steel. So I gotta take this sprocket off, put this one to on, which is super simple. You just got a little pin here, you gotta pop off. So I don't wanna pay a thousand dollars for a gouging tool when I don't use it that much, right? This comes with everything. It comes with a belt too. Where's the belt? Here's the brand new belt. Comes with all your stuff, tools. So I'm gonna get this on here. I don't know if you guys can hear me before. But I got that pin off there. You just pull the sprocket off. Super simple. You got the new sprocket. You put it on. Make sure it's on there good. And you put the pin back on. Where's the pin? You got this washer thing. And you got the pin here. See? There's the pin. Oops. Okay, so I got it on there. Super easy to do. Got the belt on. Um, so now... I don't think you can fit these cases back on. Maybe you can, I don't know, but I don't keep it on. I just kind of, you know, then you got an extra sprocket. I mark my sprockets right what it's for. Still MS-170. Sorry, everybody. It's going to make be hard to make a video without all the noise. But um, another thing, too, I'll note about this is you don't put oil in it because you don't want oil on your belt, right? So... I usually just take my cap off and leave it off so I don't think I have to put oil in it when I'm changing it. Just take your cap off and get rid of it, Put save it for another saw, right? Because then you don't think you have to put oil in it, right? Okay. I just take this whole thing right out. So once again, if you couldn't hear me, you can't have oil with this because you don't want oil in the belt, right? So just gas, no oil, and save this for another saw or something. Okay, so I cross-hatched this out with my uh, regular chainsaw bar. Cross-hatching means cut, 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 break them out. So that's probably like, I don't know, so long ways to go. Now I'm going to use my uh, gouger. Okay, so see here you can see the cut saw shaping disc. I shaped it out with. You got some bug holes in here. That's bark, but these are bug holes. We got our drain hole down in there. It's spalting. So this has been a tricky piece because where it's spalting here, it's softer than here. But the objective is to make it as smooth as I can possibly make it. And I've used this, I've showed you guys this lots of times. Hey everybody, so this is the end of the video. I just wanted to show you the new gouger and the uh, still MS-170 saw I got. Um, that gouger is pretty cheap, and um, so it was like $180.
and it really digs out wood pretty good. I'm going to be using it on some more projects. I got to carve a whale. I'm going to make uh, water with it. So um, I think it's uh, on Amazon. Just uh, type in chainsaw gouger or look in the description below. I might have it there.